Hello everyone, welcome back to Cabinda Examples. Here we have a quick ComSol tutorial on how to import experimental results for comparison. Let's say that we have a Microsoft Excel file with the data that we want to import to ComSol. The best way I think to have about this is to save the file as a text file so the file savers and of course you want to browse to your location so I will save it here and you give it a name I will just leave it as experimental results and then save as type let's choose text MS DOS and let's click save and you can just click OK to ignore this and then you can close your Excel file. Now let's navigate to our text file. Let's open that file and we're going to delete the headers. Let's take this line to the first and we're going to put a percent symbol in front of our first line. And let's save this and close that. Let's navigate back to ComSol and let's go to Results Toolbar. Let's navigate to Table. Let's click on that. Once we click on that, we now have an option to import. So let's click on Import and navigate to where you have your text file click on it, open and now you can see that the table has been imported with this done once you have table selected here all you need to do is click on table graph once you click on table graph you can see that console took the text file and plot the graph for us. We can now right click on table graph, copy, and now we're going to paste it where we want to compare the imported experiment experimental data with our computation. Okay, so let's click on load versus deflection. Let's compare it with and such and let's right click and let's select paste table graph and as you can see here is our imported data and here is our computed data now let's go down to legends expand legends show legends change from automatic to manual and let's add uh, a name you can name it anything that you like I'll call it experimental data and then hit plot and it shows up here nicely on our graph there are other things that you can do to this you can change the line thickness you can add an annotation etc but this concludes this brief tutorial. Take good care. Bye for now.